Hey, today is National Caesar Day, which celebrates the crowd-pleasing cocktail. And joining us to mark the occasion is a blues brother, a ghostbuster, and yes, a vodka connoisseur. Here he is, uh, Dan Aykroyd. And uh, Dan, isn't every day Caesar Day, really? <laughs> uh, you know, I think every Sunday in Canada, uh, certainly <laughs> at 11 o'clock uh, for brunch, you know, you'd uh, break out uh, the Caesar and, uh, and have a lavish brunch. Uh, uh, I know that that's what the pattern is at the summer at my place. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, the Caesar really is a, uh, a, a national cocktail in Canada by parliamentary decree. There's a real, it's true, there's a, there's a cultural... Uh, connection here uh, that Canadians have to Caesar, and I, I, I don't know what it's from, maybe from the original uh, time in Alberta when the bartender made it there and uh, and people were surprised by the, the celery, the spice. Um, now you brought your own version of a Caesar here uh, with you uh, today. Tell us about this. I, I, I did and and see, uh, well, well look, aren't we glad winter's over in this country? I mean, uh, yes, well, finally. Finally. You. finally. And so this is a fiery drink that I, I concocted to get up uh, and get into the patio uh, for the summer and um, uh, it is basically you take a uh, lime and you rim the glass and then you take the Mott's Clamato salts. They make mm -hmm. a great, besides their wonderful mix, which is the Caesar mix of all time mm -hmm. uh, uh, f for Caesars, um, you mix and uh, you, with, the, with the, the vodka. But you, first of all, you take the lime, you rim it, and then you take the, the, the uh, salt and you put it around the rim. And then you uh, crush garlic in here. I've got crushed garlic down in here. Oh, that's what's oh. okay for yeah, yeah, that's the, yeah. And then you have a little sriracha yeah. uh, sauce and then some uh, the vodka, two and a half ounces roughly, and then the Clamato. Uh, you get sushi <laughs> on this day. Hey, well, like, let's add a piece of sushi. Well, the, the thing is, it, I, I thought this is a fiery, spicy, new type of Caesar. You know, a celery stick just ain't going to do it alone. So we had a contest, and 12,500 people made submissions, and a woman named Lindsay O'Hare from Etobicoke came up with this delicious sushi roll right right here. And in and, honor and of you, because it's kind of like a cone head, right? And that, so we got the I cone. Can see it. it is, yeah. and the idea is that you sort of you, like you dip it here, and I'll, I'll do it to demonstrate. So you oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't, I can't <laughs> let you also <laughs> do it without me. Also, oh, cheers. Well, cheers. Yeah, oh, yeah, there, where's your gents, drink? Can we share yeah, that? Well, you know what? Somebody's got to uh, keep the step. show rolling. Mm. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Mm. Canadians drank 407 million right. Caesars last year. Wow! I'm on fire, oh, yeah. Dan Aykroyd. You taste that crystal Ooh. head vodka in there, yeah. too. Uh, <laughs> shout out for it being from Newfoundland. And by the way, Newfoundland, no additives. Bar, bar <laughs> chefs love this. They love to <laughs> add. <laughs> oh, they're additives mm. to Crystal yeah. Head because there's no additives. It's a, it's a yeah, blank yeah, canvas. Yeah, well, you know what? We're, yeah, we're having Dan, breakfast. It's, it's unbelievable how much you've accomplished in, in your life, in your career. And this year, 40, year, 40, 40 years anniversary for Blues Brothers. Mm -hmm. That's wild. He can't talk right now. He's, he's embroiled in He's Susan celebrating Caesar. in Caesar. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Blues Brothers, yeah. 40 years ago, we, we did it first on TV. And yep. here today, I'm still doing it with John's brother, Jimmy. It's the music. Yeah. The music is um, it's so durable. Uh, it's the greatest music. The Stax Folk Chicago fusion band that we had was one of the greatest R&B reviews in the world when we were up. And I think that, that um, the enduring um, quality of the performances that Aretha gave and James Brown, um, and I would say just the, the kind of the whole feeling of the movie, fun and anarchic, anarchic, well, I think the music is what endures, you know, that's what's the strongest uh, element there. Well, I think a lot of people really want to recapture the magic of, of a lot of the classics right now. I mean, we saw Ghostbusters being remade. And, and it was talks. a good remake. Yeah. I got mad at Paul because, well, it cost too much. I'm a, I was a producer on the show. <laughs> I'm a producer on the show. Like, you know, stay don't on budget. spend the money. Stay on the budget. Yeah. So I, but he made a good movie. Yeah. A, and, and, and the girls were great in it. You know, and, um, you know, I, I, I wish I, in some way we could have an opportunity to do another one with the, with, with the ladies because they were so good and they enjoyed doing it. I just got mad because, you know, as a producer, <laughs> as I say, I'd keep the budget down. All right, all right, so, so we, can, we, we can reset a budget. If he would come in with a new story and a budget, you know, maybe, uh, you know, and, and a number, maybe there's some way we could, we could you know, do it again. We could make it happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to SNL if we can quickly, because I was thinking before you came on this morning that, uh, you know, you, of course, famously did uh, Jimmy Carter back in the day. and Yes, President. I know, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Carter. Uh-huh. Uh, I, ta I talked to a girl down, a, a guy down off acid as Jimmy Ca Carter. Oh, know. really? He called in, he yeah. was stoned, and I, I, and I, now calm down. 
take some vitamin C, <laughs> put on a little Beethoven. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, the show has really, in the last couple of seasons, really sort of, uh, I don't know, found its mojo a bit uh, with uh, Trump, of course, and uh, Alec Baldwin now doing a uh, president. Well, you see, they are now uh, sort of the counterweight to what's going on uh, and, and politically and culturally in, in North America. Uh, but Saturday Night Live doesn't come down on the left or the right. They strike a balance, uh, and uh, everyone is open for satire. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so they, they don't hail the, uh, the Crusaders, and... Uh, and they don't uh, vilify the villains uh, too badly, except with uh, Alex's uh, impression of... Yeah, uh, but was it like uh, when um, you were doing Carter? Is it a little surreal to be doing that week in and week out, having to spoof, lampoon the president of the United States? Um, well, you know, we, did, we weren't too hard on Carter. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy doing Nixon. That was, that was really mm -hmm. fun. And, uh, you know, he was wide open for stuff, you know. I mean, what a, come on. <laughs> I mean, and the profanity. I could... Lace, I could lace you right now with, a, with you know, just the, the usual things that he was starting with M and C and all. You know, I won't do that. And, but, but but I love doing Nixon because, you know, he was so open for it. Yeah. But, uh, and also but, someone like Trump, in the sense that you know that he's probably going to watch. It's always fun to poke the bear sometimes with comedy. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't take the poking too well, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. He thinks that Daryl Hammond should go back and start to do that, do the, do the uh, impression again. But Alec, you know, and the writing uh, is just so, so good on SNL now, and they really have something to say about what's going on in the world, and it's just really hit its stride, and that's because Lauren is the arbiter of the taste there, and mm -hmm. he's one of the greatest producers and entrepreneurs in the in the business and uh, he's got a great mind for writing and a great mind for comedy and uh, he's a star maker and I, I see he'll be there at 90 years old I'm sure thanks for watching global news if you enjoyed what you just saw please like the video also hit the subscribe button on the screen to make sure you get all the latest international news and best trending videos